quite a bit of shopping. So if you want to find out exactly what's in all of these boxes, which I need to put down because they are heavy, ouch! So many sloth straws here. Grab your drink, grab your snack, put your feet up, get comfy. Let's dive in. Right, um, expect me to wiggle a fair amount today. I am struggling. Uh, this is the second film I'm recording. Obviously I filmed this look first. Now, as I said, I've had some time off health-wise again. Uh, apologies for the fan, it's so hot in my kitchen. But, hopefully I'm back now. So, Regular viewers will know that I have a Gerard Code bomber and by virtue of having that every so often they give you store credit where you can stock up on things, buy new things to try without it costing you, which is very lovely of them. So these I did not pay for. Oop, not that bit, I did pay for that bit. Right, so I treated myself to a few things. I got myself two more Slay All Days in Peach because, I'm sorry, Slay All Day is the best, absolutely the best setting spray. Um, there's only really three setting sprays that I've found that will actually hold my makeup on. That's Slay All Day by Gerard, All Nighter from Urban Decay, and the Rimmel one, which I can't remember what it's called now. The problem that I have with the Urban Decay and the Rimmel one is that they're very, very high alcohol content, and because of that, they dry my face out, which means my oily combo skin goes into overdrive to try and compensate. I know. So Slay All Day really is my setting spray of choice. Wiggle, hang on. Right, I got myself another one of their Hydro Mattes in shade Everything Nice. Which is a really lovely sort of... Shows you how hot it is even. This is gloopy in my kitchen right now. It's a really nice neutral shade. Put that over there. And then I got myself three lipsticks. As in, you know, bullet lipsticks. And I got myself Vintage Rose. which looks like that I got Underground because I like the liquid lipstick version of this which is like a I suppose you call it a grey it's like a grey brown which, and I love that sort of I love that tonage when it comes to lipstick and I've been promising myself I was going to get this for ages and every time I've wanted to it is out of stock this is London Fog which is a real grey based lipstick so for those of you who are thinking oh, Joanne Cosmetics only do old people's lipsticks <laughs> no they don't love trust me when was the last time you went on and actually had a look? 
on Gerald's website to see exactly what they stock. Hmm? I also treated myself to a Slay All Day mirror. Because the only hand mirrors I've got, <laughs> I've got a Jeffree Star Star one, and I've got a Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Pig one. Neither of which I particularly want to use on my channel right now. Right. The thing that I took out of the box and went, oh no, hang on, I paid for that. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage Up to 24 Hour Wear Kombucha Filtrate Marula Oil Got enough words on there? I've got that in shade 20 Fair to try um, Normally in the summer I either don't wear foundation at all or I'll wear Either either the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, which I've got in Fair Neutral, or I had been using in shade Fair this Becker Aqua Luminous. Becca are going out of business aren't they so I need to try and find something that will work just as well for me and I liked the all day the Urban Decay all nighter um, so I thought I would get this one and give it a try because I've also got So I've got their Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, but this is more of your tinted moisturiser style, so I should give that a go, I should be giving this a go at some point. The way that I test foundations now, I don't do it like I used to, I used to go straight in blind and show you first ever application etc and how it wears. I now like to wear it sort of three or four different times under different conditions using different primers, using different setting powders etc to find the most longevity that I can get from it and then I film using the best combination of those for you. Right. Next box, not Xbox, next box. What I tend to do when I've been ordering a lot of things is I'll just pile loads of different bits and bobs into one box. So in here, there's quite a lot, a lot of different people. Um, a lot of the stuff I pick up, I actually get from Depop, I will admit. Uh, simply because I just can't afford to keep buying stuff brand new, basically. And if somebody has tried a lipstick or a bullet lipstick I hasten to add that I can cut the top off of and sterilise properly, or if someone's tried a foundation or you know some kind of powder product which is easily um, sterilised, then decided they don't like it on them rather than it ending up in the bin I'd much rather buy it off of them so that preamble out of the way in here okay these are items that I actually bought new to try after seeing a tarty rave about them this is the Catrice 
True Skin Hydrating Foundation Hyaluronic Acid Longwear and the Matching High Coverage Hyaluronic Acid Waterproof Concealer. Um, I've got the foundation in shade 004 Neutral Porcelain and I've got the concealer in 002 Neutral Ivory. So again, I'll be giving those a try. Because she was saying she got really, really good performance out of those, even in ridiculously hot weather. So, well, excellent. Um, I bought this from a seller on Depop, which is the Colourpop Lippy Sticks in Fab. This was brand new when I bought it, but I have worn it uh, a couple of times since. Very much my sort of colour. And it fits nice and easily in your handbag. And when that arrived, they'd actually thrown a freebie in. Sorry, I'm... A little bit... Hot and bothered. Let's see if I can turn the fan around a little bit. There we go. She'd included this Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. This is um, a brow brush with brow gel. Uh, it's in shade Star Brow Light Brown. But I was fascinated by how tiny that brush is. Look at that. Now, I'm not entirely sure that light brow is going to be the best option for me, but on no makeup makeup days, that could be proven to be quite nice. And then from a different seller, I picked up another one of these Oprah, Oprah, Ofra signature palettes. This one is in Empowered, which is the green one. So I've got the green one and the purple one now. I picked this one up for a reason. I wanted that green in the middle for a highlighter. I'll explain why when I get through the next box. Or possibly the box after. But I'll explain why in a bit. So that can go up there, ready for me to use. Um, long term viewers will know that I have got but I've not got it to hand now. No, I haven't. I've put it away. Maybe I'll go and put it away. I picked up one of the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasies, which was just the brightly coloured shimmers, like red, purple, blue, etc. And then someone else was selling the other one with all of the sort of golds and bronzes and stuff and chocolate brown and I picked I thought Do you know what I might as well have the matching pair so I can try those out I had a lot of people when I used the Charlotte Tilbury quad I had a lot of people say to me the quad is not the same quality as her full sized palettes so I picked this up Completely brand new, never been touched because somebody had received it and didn't like the colour story. This is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotise. I have swatched these, that's why they now look swatched. Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow and Seduce Glow. Try and get that in such a way you can see the colours, there we go. Now, I think on, I'm going to put a picture up there. She's releasing a new one of these soon, calling it the Smoky Eyes something or other. And to me, it looks very, very close in terms of colour story to this. Now, the reason I grabbed this one out of all of her £12 ones is because it was the most unique. Story. The rest of them were all very much 
these kind of, this sort of end. But this had got the olive greens and it had got the smoky greys. So I'm like, do you know what? Give that a go. But yeah, this new one that she's coming out with is ridiculously similar in terms of colour story to that one. Um, to the point really, if you've got one, you don't need the other, I would have said. Uh, I finally treated myself to a Marc Jacobs that I'd seen on Depop, which you can see it against my black top. This is uh, 750 Editorial, which again is the green and gold one. Are we sensing a theme here in my colour choices? So I can finally try Marc Jacobs, see if I like that or not. And then the final thing in this particular box is the thing that I'm the most excited about. And I was really surprised when I got this. I thought it was going to sell out in no time flat. Amazingly, it's still available. But I do want to show you this. They sent you a sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter, right? So you're thinking, oh, it'll be a decent sized spray bottle, so you can use it, you know, a good few times and decide whether or not it'll actually work for you. Let me just. For me, that's maybe one use. For example, mm -hmm. in a seven day study of all nighter, this ain't going to last you seven days. There in my tiny samples, but this this is what I bought. They've done two different um, styles. They've done one in black and one in purple with two different colourways. With obviously his symbol on the front. And it's, it's a gatefold open for those of you who work in print, you know what I'm talking about. And that is the colour story. We have his eye this side. And we have a bit of a mirror that side. But that is the colour story. I was really surprised that not a single one of the purples in here is called Purple Rain. You've got a Raspberry Beret. And you've got other, your Alphabet Street, get your groove on, when doves cry, DMSR. Why, why on earth haven't you called one of those purples Purple Rain? I mean, come on. So, my Urban Decay Prince palette to try. Yeah, I was really shocked that this didn't sell out. I really thought this was going to go like that. And it didn't. It wasn't as popular as I was thinking it was going to be, which is really, really surprising. Right. Next box that I've piled full of stuff. This was originally um, a Colourpop order that was sent to me and I just filled it up with like one of bits and pieces that had arrived to make it easier to carry it through and show you what I've bought. So, let's start off with my ELF order. I picked up the ELF X Jen Atkin Hair and Brow Pomade because one of the things I have noticed in the summer is that when I'm using um, soap brows if I get really hot, my brows start to uh, melt the soap. So I need to try and find a good brow gel. 
and I liked the look of this applicator because it is actually a comb so I thought I'd give this one a bit of a go see if that's any good I grabbed the e.l.f. flawless brightening concealer um, I don't think it had a shade oh yeah Fair 10, did have a shade. So I got this to try. It's very similar to, um, in terms of if you've ever used Touche Clat, where it's not really, they call it a brightening concealer. Touche Clat is not a concealer. Touche Clat is a brightening, it reflects light back out. So the issue you will find is if you use Touche Clat as a concealer under your eyes and you're going anywhere with flash photography, you're going to get the reverse panda eye issue. Touche Clat is meant to be used over your concealer and it's just meant to flash back at the brightest or the deepest parts to a flashback light to counteract any deepness in the area. And this to me looks to be the same kind of formula. It's certainly the same sort of clicky pen with a brush at the end. So, I shall be trying that out. Let's put that up here. I'm running out of places to put things. Let me go put that there. I grabbed one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits in shade Caught You Bare Naked. This is, um, it applies like a liquid lipstick, but it feels like a stick lipstick and doesn't actually dry down. Um, and I just, I really liked this colour. So I thought I would grab that and see how that performs. And I also grabbed myself a new eyebrow brush because I'm still trying to find one that is um, flat enough to give me really, really fine defined strokes. Let's take this out of here. Because all too often, so many of them, when you do this with them, they won't come down. I mean, this one won't yet, because obviously there's nothing on it. Um, I need them to sort of come down really flat. So I grabbed this to give it a bit of a trial, see what it's like. Um, I hated the NYX lingerie lipsticks. They were just so drying, but they've come out with a new range called uh, Lingerie XXL, which apparently is less drying. So I picked this up in shade Unlaced, which I think is a really nice sort of mauvey shade. So another new lippy for me to try. I picked up Sample Beauty Ultra Hold Brow Gel. Again, same thing, I'm currently searching for brow gels. The only problem with this Sample Beauty one is it's white when it goes on. And my worry is it'll flake, so I need to I need to try that and make sure it doesn't. Picked up a MAC Lippy from online. This is a Baited Breath. As you can see, never actually been worn. So I just spritzed it with some alcohol spray. Another MAC Lippy to try. Grabbed this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in uh, shade yellow 
to use for my dark circles. I have been using this AOA Studio Perfect Peach one, but with some of the um, concealers that I use, that darkens them down so it kind of defeats the object. And I've been wanting to try this Beauty Bakery powder for a while, so I grabbed one of these to try. I also grabbed, because I found out that, although I don't shout about using Too Faced on my channel, their Peach Perfect powder is one of the best powders for my skin. And they're stopping making it, so I grabbed a backup. Someone was selling a completely brand new one online. Um, I'll probably grab another couple of backups. Uh, but at the moment I'm using Coty Airspun, which as everybody knows goes on forever. Love it. Um, I picked up Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation in the same shade as the liquid foundation. This is shade 150, somebody bought it. It was the wrong shade for them, so I thought, right, I'll give that a go. See what that's like, because powder foundations in the summer can actually be quite useful, um, because they, they tend to wear more gracefully, more like a powder than a liquid would. Uh, continuing on with the, I don't like to shout about it, but I loved this colour scheme. Unfortunately when it arrived, this shade here was completely busted. I managed to get enough just to put a sample amount back in as you can see. Um, that shade looks a little bit iffy. Um, but I just, I love that colour scheme and I know that um, Alexis has got this one so Alexis if you wanted to add this to our retro review options you can do now because I've now got this one as well and then at the bottom of this box is my Colourpop order I saved these boxes because they're great at Christmas for sending presents in the post or wrapping things that are an odd shape. I picked up the Feather Effect Styling Wax in clear because obviously I like to do my colourful brows because Robert Walsh was saying about how good this was so Robert we're going to see just how good your recommendation is and I picked this up. I know, I don't know, I didn't need any more Colourpop palettes. But this one just, it just called to me. And it's beautiful. And I wanted it. And Colourpop had free international shipping, which meant that saved me a tenner. So I. Just accidentally fell into my basket. What can I say? And the final box to go through. Oh. Now I know I said I hate big palettes. To be fair, I knew this was going to be a big palette. I didn't realise quite how big it was going to be until it arrived. It's like twice my head. Literally twice my head. And those of you who follow me on Instagram will have seen that when I swatched this I was really shocked at how the palette almost duplicates itself with a lot of the colours.
But this is the palette done with the Vivian, who was the winner of the first UK drag race. It's beautifully colourful, so I thought, do you know what? I got it more than anything to support Vivian. Um, and then after I'd put my thing up about noticing that they were sort of duping themselves, I noticed that another creator had put up a very similar post. But they were a much bigger creator than me, so obviously uh, they appeared in Vivian's search results, I suppose. Um, and Vivian's boyfriend was really nasty to this woman saying you don't know how to apply makeup and you should know to apply those wet and blah 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 and I'm just like ooh I don't like that attitude it's someone's opinion everybody's entitled to their own opinion so it's kind of If I had seen those comments prior to purchasing the palette, I wouldn't have purchased the palette. However, I have now got it and I'd swatched it before I'd seen the, the uh, comments. So, yeah. I got. Unicorn, this is one of the companies that I wanted to try this year. And elderly emo, Ronnie was using this. And I've been initially put off by the split pans in the middle. But then Ronnie showed on hers, there is actually, there are actually metal strips down the middle of the pan keep the two shades different so I'm like oh <laughs> mm. so I have this to try and I've noticed they're now doing um, an angel palette in the same layout so once I've tried this and established whether or not I like it I'm sure I will then um, I can see me ending up getting the angel one as well. Right, this is what I was about to say to you about the Ofra one that I picked up. This is the highlighter Mother Earth, which was meant to be their green highlighter. Now on the camera it looks green, but on my hand it only looks pink. So that's why I've got the uh, Ofra palette with the green highlighter in the middle of it because this wasn't showing up as green as it is in my camera. That's very unusual. But anyway, I now have the Mother Earth one to try. The last things in hell. It's another elf order that I made. And I like their putty primer. And they do one with salicylic acid in. And something that I have noticed recently, particularly on my chin, I've been having a lot of hormonal breakouts where I'm stressed um, and I'm getting like loads of little pimples and everything so I thought do you know what if I get this to try if it doesn't work it doesn't work but it's not going to do me any harm either so this is the green version of their putty primer um, I have used it a couple of times already I hasten to add and it doesn't come up green on your skin you can see I've used it a few times. 
and I got myself the putty brush to apply it with. I don't use the scoopy end, this end. I literally just swirl the brush in, swirl it onto the areas that I want to use it, clean the brush off, pop it back in here to keep it sensible shape. Boom, bash, brown. Done. So, that's, I think that's it, folks. There we go. That's your lot. That's all of the bits and bobs that I've been ordering while I was sadly not on screen. So, um, you can either on this one or on the previous film that I put up comment which of these you're interested in seeing first, um, including the lipsticks and stuff, because obviously I didn't include any, any of the lipsticks on the list of the previous film, I just did the um, palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, so let me know any of those that you want to see, yeah, that's about it really. What's your favourite out of all of these ones that I've bought so far? Which one are you most excited about? Do you have any of them? Do you have any tips on any of them? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I always love hearing from you, you know that. And I always try to reply to every comment that I get. It might take me a couple of days. But I do get there and I do reply to you. Right, my lovely ones. If you are a regular viewer, please double check your... I think I've gone skew whiffed again. Have I been on the slant the entire time? I do apologise. I'm not refilming all of this. I refuse to refill all of this. If you're a regular viewer, please check you're still subscribed. YouTube are unsubscribing you. And they're leaving me in your notifications, so it's not obvious that you've been deleted. Uh, it's also worth double checking your notification status because uh, that is also being played around with. If you're new here, however, hi, hello, welcome to the madness that is 4F Beauty. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've got a lot of other films you can watch. Um, but it would be lovely if you'd actually consider joining the 4F family. We are the nicest family on YouTube. And it's super easy to do. You literally... Just click that red button down there. Then you ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube will actually send you some. In the meantime, if you're looking for a little bit of me time, as I said, I've got a lot of other films that you can watch. I've got uh, makeup tutorials, I've got product reviews challenges, collabs, tags, I even read you my favourite poem in one of them, so you're going to find something to interest you. So basically, as I've said now, for what feels like forever, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy, pick a playlist, and settle back with your coffee and custard cream, or whatever beverage and biscuit or cookie is your choice and just chill out for a bit have some me time watching me blether at you whilst usually applying coloured pigments to various areas of my face god selling it like that you know you want to right folks it's far too hot my brain is melting and uh, so am I so all that remains for me to say, as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.